So thank you for coming and doing this interview with Block Pulse 360. Uh, can we start with your name and what you do? Sure. I'm Evan Schwartz. I am a software engineer at Ripple, and I work on the Interledger protocol. And you started out at Ripple, but you ended up uh, branching off into the Interledger protocol. How did that come about? So Interledger was a project that we invented at Rip while working at Ripple and then spun out as a separate open source project. And then there's been a, Ripple's been paying a team of people to work on it full time for the past couple of years. You said that there's no profit coming out of the Interledger protocol. So what motivated you to, to uh, get into this project? First, I think Interledger is super, super fascinating. It's, uh, we can talk a little bit about how it works, but it's a lot about applying how the internet works to money. And so there's a lot of interesting things that come out of that. And then from Ripple's perspective, it sees a lot of benefits to using that type of technology. So that's why it's been paying a team of people to work on it. And there's a lot of other companies that are interested in, in working with it as well. So you can think of the Interledger project. It's not the type of project that makes money it, and, or has employees. There's no token. There's no blockchain. It's just a standards effort between different companies to standardize this protocol. And so can we go into a little bit about the protocol now, what it is and what makes it so beneficial? Sure. So you can think of Interledger. It's kind of like the, what the internet does at its core is route packets of data across different information networks. What Interledger does is route pa little packets of money across different payment networks. So that could be blockchain networks, that could be individual blockchains like Ethereum, that could be payment channel networks like Lightning, that could be traditional banks or mobile money systems. So any type of payment network. And then Interledger is about routing packets of money across those. And I noticed that what you're actually doing is you're streaming the payments. You mm -hmm. have the example of a video playing. And as the video is playing, the money is actually streaming. I think it was like 13 cents per second mm -hmm. as you're watching. Why did you choose to go in that direction instead of just the flat fee, here's the money for the product and let's go? Why did you choose to go with the stream? So we think there's a lot of interesting applications of this idea of streaming payments. It's kind of a wild concept, but today payments are super clunky, and so we like to bundle them up. We prefer monthly subscriptions to individual payments, and businesses also bundle payments up because they're a pain. They're, they're a pain, they're slow, they're costly. If you made it super, super efficient, then it would actually make sense to pay for things on a more real-time basis because it would, be, it would be cheap enough and easy enough to do that. The other aspect of it is, just like the internet had this question of, should we send big files, small files, or both? And what the internet ended up doing is, the internet just sends lots of little packets. And it's super efficient at sending many, many, many little packets. So you can still stream your you know, high-definition high movies over it. It's just sent in little packets. So with Interledger, we had the same question. Should Interledger be for big payments, small payments, or both? And we realized that we could do the same thing with packetizing everything. So if you make it super efficient to send little bits of money, you can also use that to send bigger amounts as well. Um, well, thank you for coming and doing this interview. This was fascinating, and I truly wish you all the best. Just last thing, how can people get involved if they do want to help out? Good question. So uh, the Interledger Project is an open project. You can find all of the de details on interledger.org. And there is a mailing list, biweekly community calls that people are welcome to join. And then we're just getting some, some meetups started around it. So lots of different ways to get involved. And I think lots of opportunities as well. Excellent. Thank you very much for this. Absolutely.